Greetings AP Calc AB students, welcome to our final video over topic 6.6 .6, and I promise it'll be a quick one. We're going to talk about integrating across the discontinuity. Can it be done? And the answer is yes. And despite my bitmoji, it's not a terrible thing that's going to make you want to cry. You just really have to think about what's going on from the standpoint of area under a curve and then everything is going to be just fine. Let's take a look. So our example says we want to evaluate the definite integral of f of x from 0 to 5 where f of x is defined as the piecewise function that consists of negative 2x plus 7 when x is less than or equal to 3 and 4 when x is greater than 3. They ask that you sketch and shade the region depicted in the definite integral, and I'm sure that that's going to shed a lot of light on why we're allowed to do what we're about to do. So let's get to it. If we sketch this graph and we start with the negative 2x plus 7, now what that would really consist of is a line with a y-intercept of 7, which I guess would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right about there. and the slope would be negative 2. So from this point, we would go down two units and write one unit, down two units and write one unit, down two and write one, but I believe I'm going to stop right there because since x is less than or equal to 3, I'm not going to go any farther than that. And what I would have essentially is all three of these, or four of these, I should say, connected as such. Now, yes, I would say that this graph would continue in this direction, and that's perfectly fine if you want to make it do that, but I don't think that we're going to consider any of this region when we find our area because the lower boundary of the function is zero. Next, let's sketch a graph of four. Well, we know that that's just the horizontal line up here at four, but it's not going to exist until you get beyond three. So you essentially would have an open circle here at the point 3, 4, and then your graph takes shape, and it exists all the way to infinity for x. Now that's what the graph would look like of the piecewise function. What about the definite integral? Well, the definite integral is asking us to consider what is the area between the curve and the x-axis between 0 and this value right here, 5. And as you can see, there is certainly going to be area. You just have to take it one section at a time. So if we look at the first area, that would be what exists. And let's draw this, draw this a little bit better. How's, how's this? We'll, we'll make it uh, this orange color. You know what? Let's just make it blue. Yeah, let's just make it easy. That way I don't have to switch my pen. So we're going to have this particular region here. All right. And then when we integrate from 3 to 5, we end up with this region. And you are actually allowed to consider that possibility. Now, I know that that seems a little bit scary in the fact that the lower boundary of the second region is not really defined so much because of this open circle. Because we're thinking of this as this area under a curve that does have continuity to it, the area itself finishes at one, picks up at region two, we can apply the, the meaning of the definite integral here. So basically, you just have the area of region one plus the area of region two for your answer. And now region one is a trapezoid, so you want to consider that. Looks like the formula would be one half times the sum of the bases, which are seven and one. Excuse me, your seven would be on the left side, the one would be on the right side, and then the height would be three there along the bottom. And then the area of region two, it looks like you've got a one, two, three, four by two rectangle there that you'll just manipulate. And so when all is said and done, 
Half of 8 is 4 times 3 is 12, plus your 8 would give you a grand total of 20, and that would be the area. So yes, you can integrate piecewise functions, even if you've got this discontinuity, as long as you've got this nice continuity of the areas throughout. Hope this helps. We'll see you at the next lesson.